The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. presents Dave Madsen's NBC Parody 7 I see you got our house all fixed up. And we didn't need to take a judge at Gosis. We just got this message. To Dave Madsen and his friends. A new rule is now in effect, no more CS-188 references. We are sick of the judge. Signed, the audience. Now that we're officially finished with hostess, let's get on with the NBC parodies. Black and white. Day and night. Dark and light. 5440 or fight. James Polk campaign slogan, 1844. You know what I mean? Jelly bean, jelly bean, jelly bean, I know what you mean. Black and white, a Michael Jackson song from 1991. That's black, or white. I stand corrected. Billie Jean is not my lover. The kid is not my son. Another Michael Jackson song, this one from 1983. Seek the atone. Rolling Stone. Twilight Zone. The cheese stands alone. Alone again, naturally. Naturally stoned. Stone Soul Picnic. Technical. Neck tickle. Neck tickle. Oh damn it. Harvey Zilf. Do you know what happens when your tongue slips in wordplay? What? You just made the list! Well, we think that you're a crackhead. That's why you're on the list. <laughs> sheesh. Just a sheesh. Negative. All our tests came back negative. If there are negative colors in a picture, are there any positive colors? Positive colors? The whole image should be in positive colors rather than negative. That's right, because when the image is in negative colors, it's very spooky. Creepy much? Not really, Martha. Just saying, JJ. Next parody! Castell. Bright colors, just like at Easter. Sweeter than sugar. Sugar, sugar, you are my candy girl and you got me wanting you. The RTs, 1969. Couldn't we have quoted another Archie song, Dave? That's the one that sticks in my mind the most. Just like an earwig. Earwig? What you wear on your ears? El Lamo. We did it again, Dave. At least the water's clean. Later, after Martina and Dave climbed out of the basement pool and took showers, GSB. Gold, silver, and bronze. Olympic medals. You got mentioned again, silver. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. L-A-N-E. Put them all together and they spell lame. <laughs> did we just tell a lame joke, silver? I think we did, Alexis. Later, after Alexis and Silver climbed out of the basement pool and took showers. SVC. Scarlet, Viridian and Cerulean. The best shades of red, green and blue. Speaking of Scarlet, there's a news bulletin coming on. Here is a Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. special news bulletin. This is Taylor Bradford reporting. Authorities here in New Russell City have reported the presence of a new entity, posing a serious threat. 
Armed forces have been called in for security, but the entity is believed to be headed in the direction of our building. Residents in the area have been advised to lock their doors and board their windows. More details to come as conditions warrant. Warm. Did you feel the air getting warmer here? I did, Maya. We'd better batten down the hatches. That entity I just reported about is almost here. Duck! Who in the world are you? I am Scarlet Ember, the Ash Sister's best friend. Oh my god. Not another wicked troublemaker who will try to take revenge on us. Don't show any fear, Rhonda. They'll hit us the hardest when they sense fear. The Ash Sisters have a best friend. It can't be. Hey, I know you. You're that infernal bitch who intruded on my studio's grand opening? That Scarlet Ember lady intruded on your studio's grand opening? Yes, Dave. I still remember that incident now. Ah, uh, Miss Manson, we meet again. It's a surprise that you remember our first encounter. All right. What do you want with us, Scarlet Ember? I'm here to take revenge on Rhonda Raven and Wanda Eagles for killing my best friends, Volcana and Valkarona Ash, and especially on all of you for killing their mother, Magmarina Ash. Oh my grain. I was right. She's gonna take revenge on us. This isn't good. We really don't want to get fried to death again. For your information, Scarlet, those two nymphomaniacal bitches got what they really deserved after they tried to force me and Astro to get a divorce and break our relationships up. And their disastrous mother got her just desserts for attempting to burn the entire world and kill me and my family. That's total bullshit. What you did to the Ash family is fucking unacceptable. Unacceptable, my ass. You fat ass bitch. Your act of revenge and your flattering words are more bullshit than what Dave and Astro say. Yeah. Try sucking that out, you big fat ass meanie. You the most incredibly massive corporal punishment for what you all did to Volcana, Valkarona, and Magmarina. Hey, who pulled a shuffle card on me? We, we did, did, you, infer you infernal, infernal god princess. princess. Look. It's Paloma Paradisiity and Ellen Madsen. Mother Superior, you came back. Mom, thank goodness you're here. Aha, uh -huh. you two scandalous lovers. You two will pay for what you did to Magmarina Ash. So here's Scarlet Ember, the Ash Sisters with the companion. Yeah. Well then, we shall put your flames out like what we did to Magmarina. You, you dare, dare try, try to, to ruin, ruin my daughter's, daughter's next party, party celebration. celebration. Then you, you have, have to, to get, get us first? Alright, looks like I'll do this the hard way. Sick this on, you scandalous freaks. <laughs> Am I right? That's right, your highness. At least you learned something new, mom. You, you said, said it, Istray. Goddamn it, son of a bitch piece of shit, motherfucking asshole. <laughs> Sewer mouth! Hey Mary, did you notice that Scarlet Ember didn't destroy our upcoming wedding? Yes, I did notice that, Mike. I guess your wedding ceremony wasn't Scarlet's concern after all. I agree, Freddy. If those troublemakers or wicked beings try to ruin Mike and Mary's wedding day, we shall give them a massive beating that they will never forget. We're keeping an eye on those baddies, so no need to worry. We like distractions, and so can you. Roy G. Biv. 
The colors of the spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. If the color purple was the seventh color, then it will be Roy G. Bip. You just made a corny joke, Cedric. Here's a bag of corn bits. A corny joke can give us a corny treat. That's how it goes. You said it, Cedric. Well guys, let us prepare for Mike and Mary's wedding day. Henry and I are going to a place where we can rent a tuxedo and a bridal gown for Mike and Mary. Serdek and I will call the special forces to guard the entire St. Nicholas Church from troublemakers and wicked beings. I will call Kia to secure the studio for incoming intruders. And the rest of us will go out to eat. You read my mind, Dave. Any suggestions for our snack time? I have one. Okay, Tootie, where shall we go? Where else? Cheese Louise! Oh, intestines! This has been a Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. production.